Well, today's our last day to sell our stuff. Okay, Diesel, come on out. Come on out, you can't come. You gotta stay home, who's gonna hold the fort? Come on. Out. You're such a brat. No, Diesel. <laughs> Diesel, no. He really out. wants to come. Well, today's our last day to sell our stuff. We're marking everything down. All must go. Oh. Including a weasel. No, $72 billion, non negotiable. <laughs> Chevy, you want to go garage sailing? I'm good. I'll stay home. I'll stay here. He doesn't like car rides. No. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't mind riding in this vehicle. He just doesn't like the pickup. I don't know why. Diesel out. Diesel, you can't go garage sailing with us. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. But who could say no to a weasel? Sell everything. Sell it all. Sorry, bud. No, no, no. He's trying to go back in. Go up here. Go on the porch. Diesel? No. Diesel? <laughs> he is very insistent today. He is not liking mom and dad being gone all day. What would you do if I worked... A regular nine to five Monday to Friday job. What would you do then? Diesel, you, you can't go garage sailing with us. We just go on garage sailing. <laughs> found them. I found them. And another thing. So. Doing that every time I walk up the stairway, I smack my head on that. I'm short, but I'm not that short. Let's do this. All right. High five. Very excited. Very excited. Nice. All right, Chevy, you're in charge, okay? Big responsibilities for a big boy, okay? I'm scared. You'll be just fine, Chevy, okay? I'm gonna go do some garage sailing. You keep everyone in line, all right? Boy. Like I was saying yesterday, I'm, I'm very surprised with how popular garage sales are. I learned something new. There's a whole culture of garage sailors in Steinbach and the area. We did pretty good. We've been doing pretty good. We have one more day today. We're starting a little bit later today because today is Sunday and uh, everybody in Steinbach is at church. Almost everybody. I know there's going to be a few people. I don't go! I know. On the whole, uh, there's the most Steinbeck has the most churches per capita of any place in North America, as far as I know. So, uh, nobody's even going to be around until churches start letting out at 11, which is now. Uh, but most people will go to the 11 o'clock service, and it'll be done at 1 o'clock. So that's when the big rush would come. And that's when rush hour. We call it Steinbeck rush hour. When the second morning service lets out. But anyways, yeah, well, today's our last day, so let's let's see what we can do. Uh, Britt and Sabrina are gonna be at the garage sale all day. Rick and I are gonna go paintballing with a few of his friends. Hence why I'm wearing these old clothes that Britt hates. So I have gotten the green light to go and destroy them and get them all full of paint. Somebody's getting a spanking on Sunday morning, speeding to church. Been there. There's another church off to the left. Looks pretty full. Yep, everyone we've passed so far is packed full of cars. So as soon as all of these churches let out, 
they're all gonna come streaming to our garage sale. Right? Right, guys? I'm being bad today. I'm skipping church. I know. I know. I'm gonna be in big trouble. It's okay. I'll, it's okay. I got, I'll talk to the big guy. I'll have a talk with him. It'll be okay. I'll do a little loop to dupe over here and uh, back into their driveway so we can unload this table and chairs. See if we can sell that. Ford. Today I'm in my my buddy Rick's Ford. What is this? A Ford Fusion? Ford something? It's a Ford. So we're okay with that. We're okay with that. We're not gonna make any smart comments. It's no, we're okay. So okay. We'll be okay. We're going paintballing. So what I've done is today, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Uh so if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. But I brought this. Uh I can strap this here. I can strap this over my, my head, right? Like this. Ugh. And then it's like a police body cam, right? I put the GoPro right here while we're paintballing. It's gonna be fun. You think that's too violent for YouTube? Is YouTube okay with paintballing? Maybe I shouldn't film that. Maybe I should just show you the devastation afterwards because I'm no professional. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll just show you the highlights. I don't want to scare YouTube. YouTube is a little finicky. You know, you don't want to show too much violence. You don't want to show too much violence. What's going on? Hey, not much. Going paintballing. Yeah. Is this a Ford Fusion? Focus. No, Focus. Not no. even. It's not an edge. Focus. It's an edge. We don't know. It's a Ford. Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. I told them I'm not going to make any smart comments. Oh, really? No. no. What? It's going to be in a Ford. What if I do? Well, that's okay. It's your car. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the one who likes the Chevys, right? Oh, yeah. Chevy proud? Yep. I'm just on the Chevy team. I don't really. I like Fords. Oh. Uh oh, one broke. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure that would happen. <laughs> Blame the Ford. <laughs> yep. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. He's gonna go put up one more garage sale sign on our way to the paintballing range. I believe we're going to Splatters Paintball, which is near New Bothwell, Manitoba. It's probably about 20 minutes from here, so. Uh, I've been there before. It hurt, and it was fun. It was a good kind of pain, that was a good hurt. So, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens today. I wore all the, I already told you, I wore all the clothes that my wife hates, so she's hoping I wreck them. I don't know if that means she's hoping I get pummeled. We're here picking up Rick's bud, Mike. I just want to show you something. This Ford is pretty fancy. Look at this. Push button start. That's awesome. I just realized that when he went out there. Wow. Fancy.
that it? One more? Where's Davis? He's right there. Woo! Last man standing. Well, got a little full of paint. The welts are underneath. It was fun though. It was fun. I uh, met a lot of new people. Uh, Rick's group of friends. Yep. Got a great time. There. A lot of fun. Now we gotta head back and help the ladies clean up the garage sale. Because apparently they're cold. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm sweating. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they're complaining about. Yeah, it's hot. All you gotta do is run around all day. <laughs> I mean, that might help a little bit, but... Harvest is pretty much over. Oh, they got the corn to harvest yet. Yeah. So this is everything that we didn't sell. Guess it's all being donated. Well, there's a couple things we'll probably keep for the next garage sale, but not much. We're having another garage sale. That's right. Your mom's having one. One day. Her mom's having a garage oh. sale sometime. We don't know when yet, though. Might be next year, but she's going to have space in her house for our stuff. We're professional garage sailors now. Yes. 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 I'm part of the culture. It's a culture. Yeah, it's a culture. Keep telling yourself. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Mm. It's getting a little cold out here, so Rick and I are gonna a put this all away in their garage for tonight, and then we will figure out what we're going to do with it after that. Still covered in paint. <laughs> and that's it, everybody. The garage sale's over. I'm covered in paint and welts. It's time to go home and sleep. Paintballing was sure a lot of fun. Wow. I don't go that often. I think that's the second or third time I've gone in my life. Great group of guys. Great group. Really cool. Hope I get to hang out with them again. So, uh, whatever we didn't sell at the garage sale, tomorrow I'm bringing it all to our local MCC uh, thrift store. Donating it there. And, uh, I think it's the thrift store, or maybe it goes to the, I don't know, we're donating it, <laughs> I'm tired, I'm going to be so sore in the morning, I can feel it in my legs already, I'm a trucker, I'm a professional sitter, and I just spent the whole day like running, trying not to get shot with paintballs, it was a good workout, like it feels good, my legs feel good right now, they're just burning, I know tomorrow they'll be a little stiff, but that's a good thing. It's good for the heart too, good for the old ticker. I was pretty surprised when I first started, the, we did our little warm up or whatever, but the first round I was so out of breath, I thought the whole day was just gonna be miserable because I couldn't catch my breath and I was so not used to running, but my body adapted to it really quickly. And by halfway through the day, I was just running all over the place and I wasn't losing my breath nearly as quickly. Our bodies are just amazing machines, you know, they just adapt quickly. And if I do that every weekend, or if I'd work out every day, or regularly anyways, you know, today would have been awesome. I would have been the star of the show, outrunning everybody. <laughs> now we're going to go home, uh, I'm going to make some supper, relax, watch a movie, maybe even watch a movie in bed, and uh, chillax. It's a good day, it's a good weekend. I'm really, you know, I, I thought that I'd be at work. I was supposed to be at work, but uh, because of our documents that we have to sign tomorrow morning, uh, I had to be home. And I'm glad it turned out that way. I gotta go hang out with friends and uh, participate in the garage sale and learn something. I never knew garage sailing was such a big deal out here. Now I know, we're gonna do that again. Didn't sell at the garage sale, so Britt decided to keep it. Where did you get this little wiener dog from? The stuffed toy? Yeah. Uh, the last time I went shopping with my grandmother before she died, she bought that for Frankie. Oh, well, that's kind of special. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get rid of it. I tried, but I couldn't. Oh, and his name is Frank, too. Yeah. 
Well, that makes sense. It's funny and kind of ironic because Frank's not allowed to play with it. Because <laughs> it has beans in it or else he would be. Oh, it's got beans? Where's it got beans? Oh, I hear them. Oh, in the feet. Feet. Hold oh, down. Okay. Cool. Well, Diesel, did you have a good day at home? You seem tired, Dad. More tired than usual. You're gonna sleep good tonight. This is only one of my welts. This isn't even that bad. Just one of my arm. I think the one on my back is gonna be a little worse. But that's okay. You wanna kiss a better diesel? Hey, diesel. Kiss my Chevy. You wanna kiss my welt better? Hey, hey. Thank you. See, all better. No more pain. Just like that. It's time for bed, guys. We're probably gonna watch a movie in bed, like I was saying, on the way home. And uh, we gotta be up early tomorrow. We gotta be in St. Adolph to sign our mortgage papers tomorrow at 9 a.m. Cause someone has to work tomorrow. Sorry about that. Someone's gotta make money around here. <clears throat> it's true. <laughs> so she's gotta work at like 11. So we have an appointment in St. Adolph. That's apparently uh, the uh, only time we could do it and the only place we could do it. So we'll get that done tomorrow morning, and uh, after that, bring Britt to work, and then we go and pick up the rest of that stuff from Rick and Sabrina's. We'll bring that to the thrift store, donate that, and then I will come home and continue packing. We have to pack up that little gazebo uh, where all our Christmas lights are in, so I have to pack up all of our Christmas lights tomorrow yet. The garage needs to be packed up, and... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Britt's done a, an amazing job doing everything else in the house. Everything else is packed up except the TV, and that we're doing on the last night. TV's up. TV's uh, Yeah, we got one in the bedroom, too. We'll probably take down the one in the bedroom sooner, I'm guessing. But this one, I'm kind of feeling like it'd be nice to have one last movie night in here. Yes. Friday or Saturday. Or Saturday night, yeah, or Sunday. Whenever. Uh, one last movie night in here, and then we'll take the mount down, and then we gotta fix the walls, we gotta mud it and paint it. And, uh, the other... Other TV is in here. Yes, we do sleep with separate blankets, because Brit's a blanket hog. And she also turns, tosses and turns a lot during the night, and when we share a blanket, every time she tosses and turns, all the cold air gets sucked under the blanket. It wakes me up, it drives me nuts. <laughs> so I love her, I do. And we sleep in the same bed. It's not like we're a married couple that sleeps in separate beds, because that, that, that would be weird. I know some people do that, and they have their reasons for it, but no, we sleep in the same bed, but I have my own blanket. And then we got uh, this TV here that we gotta take down yet as well. Chevy. You wanna end off the vlog or what? I'll end it off. You got anything good to say? Sit. Can you sit? Can you sit? Say something nice. Say something nice. Something nice. <laughs> You're so weird. He always does this thing, Brit, because he wants his butt scratched. So he'll go between your legs and then he expects you to scratch his butt. Brit taught him this as a puppy. My bad. Weird dog. We love him. But Diesel. Diesel Chevy. Maybe you had your turn. Everyone wants to say goodbye to Diesel. Say see you tomorrow, man. See you tomorrow, guys. What else we got? We got Wiener. And we got Big Frank over there. And Britt would say goodbye too, but uh, she's already all ready for bed and stuff. So you'll see her tomorrow. So tune in, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you don't miss when tomorrow's video goes live. And we'll see you then. Tomorrow, what do we have planned? Oh, I already told you. Signing. She's got to go to work. I got to come here and pack. So that'll be tomorrow. I'll see you then.